This is Jeremy Sports Network coming to you live. Hey, you guys. If you're a Panthers fan or you're just a fan from Douglasville who know this guy by the name of Mike Talbert, he has just been released by the Carolina Panthers on today. So that raised questions on what's going to happen right now to the Carolina Panthers. But first, before we even go into talking about the Carolina Panthers, at first I want to talk about why is it that they chose to get rid of Mike Talbert? Because as of right now, this move of letting go uh Mike Talbert really didn't hurt them at all. If they would have kept him, it wouldn't have hurt them at all. And with them letting him go, I mean, it it really kind of lets you know that hey, they're they're gonna kind of steer away from the from the running game, and they're gonna try to protect Cam Newton. And with them protecting Cam Newton, they're gonna get rid of that fullback slot and go ahead and now put Cam in a position to where hey, you don't have to worry about running the football anymore. No more no. We're not really going to be a power running team. They're going to be more air raid than anything now because they want Cam Newton to be able to get rid of the football and they want to be able to protect Cam. But the team announced uh, that it released Mike Talbert. Uh, the bowling ball runner spent the last five seasons with the Panthers after four years with the San Diego Chargers. And they saying, and this is this this is what Mike had to say. Like, he feels very fortunate to have been coached by Mike, I mean, by Ron Rivera. And Ron Rivera said he's been fortunate to coach uh, Mike Talbert. You know, Mike Talbert, he's a three-time pro bowler. He was someone who they targeted in 2012 because they felt he would be a good addition for the offense and he would be very productive. And he brought great energy and leadership to that locker room like none other. Now, Tal Talbert had only one year remaining on his two-year contract, uh, which he signed last March. And the move saves the Panthers $1.7 million on the salary cap, but that's nothing. That's nothing. The Panthers really could have kept Mike Talbert, but his presence are going to be needed somewhere else. Hopefully, it's in somewhere like Atlanta. Maybe he can come home to Atlanta and play with Atlanta. But right now, with the way Atlanta is looking right now, as far as their type of offense, you kind of don't even see that happening. But man, like I, I really am upset that the Panthers really let Mike go. Mike is a former teammate of mine. Um, I played with him at Douglas County High School. And this this leads me to thinking, like, where where is he going to be landed right now in the offseason? Like I said, he had one year remaining on his two-year contract that he signed last March. So you know they're going in a totally different direction if he just signed this contract last March. And, and all they was holding was $1.7 million on the salary cap. Now the Panthers, you know, I'm, they pretty much declined the 31-year-old and Mike. And they pretty much, you know... Not only did they get rid of Mike, I mean, they also parted ways with defense attacker Paul Solier. <laughs> like, and it's like, okay, why get rid of, why get rid of Paul? I mean, last year he compiled for just eight tackles in 10 games played, but the move says the Panthers 2.5 million. That's why you get rid of Paul. But for Mike, I mean, I didn't even begin to even go over Mike numbers. Paul Solier, they released Paul Solier. Like I just said, this man had eight tackles in 10 games. Okay, I understand why they would release you for 2.5 mil to save on the salary cap. But you let go a three-time pro bowler who earned 992 rushing yards as a fullback, ladies and gentlemen, with 13 rushing touchdowns, 771 receiving yards, and six touchdown catches. Last season, he compiled for 114 yards on 35 carries and 10 receptions for 72 yards and a touchdown. I mean, you can't. Those are fullback numbers. You can't blame 
Mike for anything because he brought everything to the Carolina Panthers. He brought that leadership. He brought that excitement. Every time he touched the end zone, man, I have nothing but high praises for him. And I hope that Mike land in a great spot, which I'm thinking maybe it's Tampa. Maybe it's Tampa. I mean, down there in Tampa Bay with Jameis Winston, they have a nice uh, power running game. And they do look to protect uh, Jameis. So I see him probably going to a Tampa Bay. But, you know, that's just me thinking right now. Um, but as things transpire throughout the year and throughout the season, um, the off season, that is, I will continue to give you updates on what's going to happen with Mike Talbert for those of you who are fans of Mike Talbert. So this is Jeremy Sports Network bringing you some breaking news on today. I'm signing out. Peace.